Today we are back with a homeowner series in GTA 5. Today will be a pretty exciting day around the property. I've been in the workout room for the last hour working out. I was on the treadmill, ran two miles at a pretty good pace. I did a little bit of bicycle and lifted a few weights. And I just have been finishing it up here, shooting a few hoops at the basketball hoop. But I just got a call from the transporter saying our brand new car is here. He left it right outside our front gate. Uh, so let's kind of go uh, over there and take a, a look at it and bring it into our driveway. Now I did touch upon that I ordered a daily driver a few weeks ago for the series I wanted something there where it was quick it was sporty it was fast but uh, it was not low to the ground and got pretty good gas mileage and I came upon a Tesla so I ordered it online and I chose the Tesla Model X P100D so it's the pretty fast one and where is it perfect there it is guys our brand new Tesla in white I really do like it I will have to say ordering the Tesla was pretty simple and they delivered it right to our driveway this thing looks awesome now this does have an active ring here which is nice what I want to do is I want to bring it in the driveway take a complete look at it and kind of see I want to see these doors as well because those are some pretty cool doors and then what we'll do is we'll take it for a spin I really want to see what this can do from a stoplight from a stop because Tesla's have really good acceleration uh, because of the low-end torque if you do have any cool recommendations here for me, please let me know. I really do enjoy this series so far. It's been a lot of fun, and I definitely have lots more plans here. So really quickly, we will save the vehicle, and we'll come over here to uh, doors and windows. And let's just kind of open up all of the doors. Let's see here. We'll open up all of them. Look at that, guys, those wing doors. And we'll actually open up the trunk as well. Perfect. So there we go guys, we got all the doors open except for that one, that is okay. Now this thing looks awesome, so I believe this looks to be, let's see, this looks to be a 7 seater here with an extra, this is awesome, really do like those doors, uh, it's a very unique thing. Teslas are pretty unique, and I really do like what they're doing with the uh, zero emissions, pretty fast, sporty. so we got a front trunk, the uh, front, and we also do have a back trunk here, which is awesome. Wow, this thing is going to be pretty cool. Now, I do want to uh, park this inside. We have to uh, so that we could kind of get this charged. So let's hop on the inside, close all the doors, and let's take this for a spin. I, I really want to see what this can do. Let me know down below in the comments, guys. Do you like the Teslas? I think that they're a pretty cool one. And do we have some cinematic shots? Oh, we do have a few. Now once Teslas do get up to speed, they are very fast, and we do want to be careful. Actually, let's kind of go the other way, and I believe that there's a highway a few uh, miles down the road. So there it is, guys, that active wing there that does help out. Now this car has a range of just over 300, so we charge it once a day, once every few days, and we should be good to go. Wow, the handling is pretty good so far. I really want kind of a nice, uh, straight, small stretch road uh, to really help out with. And that's a pretty interesting property there. Actually, that's pretty big dri uh, driveway to the house. That was just kind of an entrance. Look at that. So, so fast. Wow. We definitely have to slow it down. There's a big, big highway coming up here, which is great. We could really see what this can do. I really do enjoy the GTA 5 homeowner series. I'm really trying to showcase a variety of cars and things that we can't really do in Farming Simulator. And uh, buying a Tesla and all these cars and doing things like this is awesome. Let's see what this can do. So from a stop, you guys can see, whoa, look at that acceleration. Uh, back against the headrest. This thing is fast. Look at that. Really, without a touch to the pedal, we got up to over 100 miles per hour. This is awesome. Let's kind of turn over here. Now this is pretty cool. One thing I want to do uh, within the next few weeks here with the series is go over to the beach and maybe uh, rent some jet skis. I think that would be awesome. But this thing just is so fast. Really got to watch yourself and not uh, get in trouble is the best way to put it. Really good brakes as well. Wow. Now I was thinking about buying the cyber truck. I actually installed it here into GTA 5, but I actually chose this one over that. I think the cyber truck is cool. Maybe we might buy it, uh, but I think this one for a daily driver is perfect. It's fast, it's sporty, and it just is everything we need. 
I would uh, like to drive a truck, but they're a bit too big, and we'll be spending a ton in gas. Yeah, as you can see, as we do brake, uh, the wing does turn to kind of help out with braking aerodynamically. So what I want to do is, I actually want to leave this right here. And let's kind of go see what we can do here in the garage, because we should be able to fit it. It's just a matter of kind of how we are positioning it. So the Porsche has to move over. And I think the best thing to do is uh, to, let's kind of see. So we should be able to, can we move the Corvette? And, oh yeah, this is going to be a little tricky. Let's kind of see if, there we go. Let's move the Corvette over a little. We should be able to. Now, it would be nice to have all these cars in Farming Simulator. I have said that multiple times. Hopefully, we can. It would also be nice to just kind of convert them, since I have seen a lot of Farming Simulator mods here in GTA 5. So, it would be awesome if we can just kind of bring these uh, over uh, to FS19. Yeah, we should be able to bring the Porsche over, and then the uh, Tesla will be fine. It will kind of spawn us out here, which is okay. We readjust it and park it. Actually, we could be much uh, more farther over, and let's kind of do that once again. A little glitchy, I will have to say, but it's kind of the best we can do with what we have here. And I do prefer this over having kind of real garage doors. Perfect. So there we go. That's the trick uh, to get this in here. Awesome. So we should be able to now uh, fit that Tesla Model X, no problem. Now the next thing we are buying is a lawn mower. We do have some grass here at the property and we need uh, to get it mowed when it's tall. We definitely don't want it to kind of look too bad. And let's see, we could pretty much just kind of leave the uh, Tesla here like this, but we could also squeeze it in here. It is a tight fit in the uh, garage with everything we own, but it's kind of nice to own so many cool cars. Perfect, there we go. So there you guys have it. We fit six cars in here. A few of these were pretty big. I mean, uh, this uh, Tesla Model X is a pretty big SUV. We should be able to walk right over there. And let's get the lawnmower. Now, I do want to find ways like I have touched upon to go kind of pick these up from the stores, but we are limited with what we can do. But here it is, guys. This is the lawnmower. It's just an older lawn tractor. You don't need anything too special. Uh, these get worn out, and uh, the blades are fully sharpened. <laughs> and I actually can't wait to kind of get mowing with this. But for now, uh, we uh, got this here. But I think the last thing we'll do today is let's kind of go play on some of those games inside before we kind of call it a done uh, for today. Let's go downstairs. This is a pretty unique fireplace. I, I kind of like it, and uh, definitely something I would not design myself, but uh, interesting. And let's actually play a game of pool here. We do need another player, so we won't do that. Let's come over here and uh, do bowling. And looks like we got uh, all but two. We'll keep going. And perfect, we knocked them all down. I think that's good to end it there. Let's kind of come over here. Now that is pretty cool, a puzzle game. And finally, we'll shoot some hoops here. And we got a four out of the... Uh, five that we threw in, which is great. And I think we'll just kind of end today here at the movie theater watching a movie. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, GTA 5 Homeowner Series video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.